Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch. And today we are covering a story that I am frankly getting quite sick of covering, and that is layoffs over at Unity. You see, back in June 2022, the first time after they went public, they announced layoff of about 4% of their workforce. This was shortly after they spent $1.6 billion acquiring Weta Digital. Uh, then they followed that one up the beginning of this year. In January, they announced another 4% of their workforce, or slightly over 200 people, were also being let go go. Uh, this was following up on their Iron Source merger. Uh, and then, yeah, that was great. And now we've got today's news, which actually came out last night, but it's been confirmed today, is that Unity are uh, doing another round of layoffs, this time 600 employees or 8% of their workforce. So this is going to be the third round of layoffs within a one year span. Uh, and it's going to represent about a thousand jobs being lost. They went from a headcount of about 8,000 down to a headcount of about 7,000. On top of that, uh, according to the Wall Street Journal article and interview, uh, which unfortunately is paywalled, uh, they are going to be going from worldwide having 58 offices down to fewer than 30 over the coming years. Um, and then on top of that, so their CEO, uh, John Riccitello, uh, basically said that the layoffs are for higher growth. He added that middle managers will be affected. It was clear we had too many layers. And that generally is uh, you know what? That's a sign of fail. Layoffs are a sign of management failure. And I'm not talking about middle managers. I'm talking about top level managers. If a company is laying off over and over again, that company screwed up somewhere. So uh, yeah, that's where we're at right now. Now the kicker is you think, okay, surely if they're doing these layoffs, the company must be struggling right now, right? Well, nope, they actually just re uh, reported profits a couple of months back. For the first time, they reported a profit. This is the first time they haven't lost money since going public. So in earning calls, Senior Vice President and Chief Financial Officer told investors that while Unity was only profitable in Q4 2022, the company expects to be profitable every single quarter in 2023. So no doubt, the answer to that is, let's go do some more layoffs. So yeah, that's, that's where we, uh, we come in that stage. And you can even see in this article from a couple of months back when they were talking about the, the profitability here, uh, you can see here that they said added Unity is taking other measures to improve profitability, such as last month's announcements, it would be eliminating up to 300 roles at the company. So that was the previously announced one, followed the 225 layoffs from back in June 2022. So apparently that way of being uh, profitable for every quarter of this year uh, is by laying people off. Um, yeah, yeah. Interesting strategy, but truth of the matter is, all the way across the tech industry, there are layoffs. Everybody is doing them. Meta did them. Facebook did them. I don't think Apple did, which kind of is interesting. Um, but a, a lot of a lot of tech companies are laying people off because the economy is expected to, you know, we're expecting a recession and downward in spending and so on and so forth. So they're perhaps getting ahead of the curve, hard to say. Uh, they did file this with the SEC. This is basically saying that they are going to be getting rid of approximately 600 employee roles or 8% of the workforce as it restructures specific teams in order to continue to position itself for long-term and profitable growth. They estimate that it'll incur approximately 26 million in charges in connection with the restructuring, which that's severance and that kind of stuff, which are substantially all cash expenditures and which would be substantially incurred in the second quarter of 2023. Charges primarily relate to employee transition, severance payments, employee benefits and really that's about the extent of the uh the filing there's nothing more here uh it is the same fellow who made the last quote it's just something that you have to file uh with the sec when you do this kind of thing if you're a publicly traded company and yeah that's where we're at now one only thing that i have found in terms of where the layoffs happened and this one is kind of interesting uh this is a, a tech writer from the specialized in israeli based tech Israel is where Iron Source is based out of, the company that uh, Unity merged with uh, a year ago. Uh, so the latest layoffs at Unity to include around 100 employees in Israel. So they're letting go 600 people, and it looks like you know a good chunk of that is going to be from the Iron Source side of things. But that's the only um, confirmation I have of where they actually let people go from. Uh, in the previous layoffs, sadly, they let go of the Gagaya team, which was the Unity Games team, which was actually responsible for dog fooding their product. Uh, this time, it looks like it's going to be more you know in that um, the services area that they've picked up with Iron Source. But other than that, I don't have any real confirmation on uh, you know where else layoffs are happening. Uh, hopefully, the, the game division is mostly untouched in this particular point. I think that's the area that most of us are concerned about. And obviously, uh, to anybody out there whose jobs were impacted, uh, I hope you land on your feet. I hope this works out the best for you. Um, and yeah, sorry that you had to go through this. And hopefully, Unity writes the ship soon because you just can't keep having these layoffs again and again and again. Again, whenever you have layoffs at a company, it is a sign that the senior management failed. 
And truth of the matter is, senior management seems to be failing. Of course, at the same time, it's also a sign of the horrible economy that we're supposedly in. Uh, but they did just report profitability. So I, I don't know. I, this whole being a public company, sacrificing employees every time there's an economic downturn, it's stupid. It's short-sighted and it's dumb. And you don't hear Epic Games laying off people every time the economy gets a little bit bad. So public companies just need to stop being this way. All right, that's it. Let me know what you think. Comments down below. Talk to you all later. Goodbye.